Hey yo, what is up guys, Zanecraft here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I am gonna be talking about Fortnite, see, Chapter 2, Season 6, my review, let's go. To start off with, I haven't really played the game at all, like I've just, I've just seen some stuff, and this is just my thoughts of what I have seen. I haven't been playing the game because I'm obviously working on all my musical projects that are coming very soon. Um, one that is coming in two weeks to celebrate the release of Attack on Titan, the final chapter of the manga, which I'm really excited to release. Um, and then I'm working on the skits here for you guys. Actually, what I'm working on right now is, if you remember me mentioning in my five, or in my uh, review of 2020, uh, back at the end of the year, my year in review, I talked about the Curse of 2170. I'm bringing that here, and I'm also revamping it with new scenes so it is complete. It's gonna not be the ending I wanted, but it's gonna have a satisfying ending, and a good one. So, be prepared. And I've also revamped it so it's better, not terrible, and everything, so yeah. Anyways, though, let's get into this. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. Starting off with, um, the event this time wasn't actually at the end of Season 5. It was at the beginning of Season 6, which I actually really like. So now, everyone can play this at any time. You just gotta log in for the first time. And I think you can play it at any time, too, even if you haven't logged in for the first time. If, like, if you're second, third, fourth login. But anyways, um, the event... So this means you can... Anyone can play the event, and it doesn't matter about their school, work, or just in general, uh, personal life. If it's busy, you can play it at any time, which I love. So, that's 10 out of 10. Anyways, um, map changes. Nothing much, but um, makes sense. Mostly focusing on the main area of the map, which is the middle, which makes complete and perfect sense Be with the zero point and the spire now and everything. But I do like the map changes and I do like, do like uh, kind of the medieval type theme or uh, primal they like to say. Um, but anyways, um, going on to the weapon and new uh, NPC and stuff changes. I love the new animals, I love them. Chickens, boars, frogs, and and wolves that's crazy i love that you can jump with a chicken and fly that's hilarious i love that you can tame a wolf and everything i don't know what the pig and the and the the frog do but i know they're really great as well so those 10 out of 10 gun changes i do like that you have to upgrade them now it's quite it's quite balanced you know since everyone arrives with the same weapons and they have to upgrade them because all the weapons that drop are just green. So you gotta upgrade them, so you gotta work for your weapons. You don't just land and on spawn, you get a gold RPG, because that's unfair. So I love that, 10 out of 10 on that. But um, yeah, uh, so far, uh, let's get into the story element, which is a nitty gritty that I love. Uh, I don't like now that these seasons don't really have that much story. Unless that, unless you look really deep into the map, small little map changes, like itty bitty. Or, or just wait until the end of the season when it's all revealed to you in the teasers and then the beginning of the next season. I don't like that, but I do like where the story is heading. So basically, Agent Jones uh, turns on the agency, also, or the order, and goes to the leader of the seven... The Rock, by the way, Dwayne Johnson is the voice, which is hilarious and amazing, of the leader of the seven known as the Foundation. The Foundation um, uh, basically is the leader of the seven. He's got to be because he's so powerful. And um, uh, the Foundation, you know, holds it all together. And there have been leaks saying, uh, and his description, the leader of the seven or his sacrifice will not be forgotten the leader of the seven, uh, part of the uh, seven set. I don't remember what it said. But anyways, uh, it was, anyways, like, um, 
I like where the story was going. And then you had to help out, uh, close the portals and uh, stop the zero point. But then the obviously the foundation sacrificed himself and made spires and everything to protect the zero point from opening from exploding but that also trapped agent jonesy in the loop that is why he is now available as a skin which i love that detail but anyways um there are going to be uh, crazier and crazier updates i think this week uh, it's the game's getting raptors which is freaking insane and i really got to start playing the game again but but like uh yeah so my honest thoughts about this new season is 10 out of 10 it's interesting it's balanced it's funny and it has a good storyline so 10 out of 10 storyline or 10 out of 10 season love it so yeah guys that is my review of season six of chapter two there is only four more chapters of this uh four more seasons of this chapter and then i assume in season one of chapter three there is either gonna be a new map or fortnite's just not gonna do the changes anymore and just gives the sweats what they want which is pretty shitty but anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which should be the full movie of The Curse of 2170, edited, better, and has an ending. Anyway, guys, uh, be ready for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.